So I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the saying, you can't outwork a bad diet. And I wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly believe that's very true. Um, so when we get into exercising and diet, nutrition, all this change of lifestyle, um, a common question that's asked is, what, what do I need to worry about more? Exercise or nutrition or diet? Um, and when I have a conversation with people, it's always, uh, you know, what have you done before? Um, and then, you know, they explain, you know, I've done this, I've done that. And then I'm like, okay, cool. But my question that always has the longest answer from a client member, somebody interested in working with us is what about your diet? What are you doing? How, like, what's your, what are you eating? What are you consuming throughout the day? I always ask, give me like, like two or three days of what you do. Um, Cause most people buy ha are habitual. So they eat pretty much the same thing every day, but they don't realize it cause they're not, it's, they're unaware. Um, or some people are just, they just eat whatever. And so um, they tell me what they eat. And I'm like, okay, cool, great. And I always uh, have suggestions, but to answer the question, diet to me is probably the most important thing, changing your body composition, okay? So are you eating enough food in the first place? Okay, so uh, I was having a conversation with someone, I feel like people these days are on either end of the spectrum. They overeat or they don't eat enough. And I think, I think one of the big, to me, uh, I think one of the biggest uh, areas that can be improved when it comes to uh, helping an individual with uh, understanding calories in, calories out, how much calories they need, all that stuff, is getting a rest of, resting metabolic rate test and getting their body fat test. I've had this conversation, I've talked about this before. I think those two numbers, to me, obviously other things play a factor as well. So, you know, hormones, how much sleep you're getting, all that stuff. But if you can get those two numbers, which if you are interested, kind of sidetrack, DM me or, or uh, comment below and I'll help you you're local or help you if you're watching this from afar figure out how to get those the most accurate way okay the most accurate way so that once you figure those numbers out then the diet and nutrition is easy to solve because you'll understand you know this is how much my body burns regularly if I don't do anything all day if I sit on my ass all day don't do shit this is how much my body burns and then it gives you a, some, some type of estimate if you do some type of activity throughout the day. So I think understanding and knowing this number is really important for you to be able to be successful with your lifestyle change, diet, nutrition, exercise, because again, this number will, will uh, you know, give you your, uh, you know, where to start. Where do I need to start? And, you know, uh, this kind of will lead into another video I'm gonna talk about, which is how, how to stay motivated with your weight loss. But um, at the end of the day, you know, talking about this, kind of went on a tangent in a couple different directions. Diet to me is the most important. What are you consuming? Because that's going to either build muscle, it's either gonna help you burn calories, thermogenically, uh, which is not as much as many people think it is, but um, based on the research, but it still plays a role in calories burned. Um, what are you doing on your, on your uh, non-exercise activities? So we call that net, and then your exercise, and you know, then your re re regular resting metabolic rate. So you have three or four numbers that are gonna play a role into how many calories you burn a day. 
<clears throat> then you subtract from that, you know, you know, anywhere between three to 500 calories, and that's where you should live for, you know, about nine to 12 weeks at the most to diet, and then maintain, and then for a few weeks, then you can diet again if you need to lose more weight. You can't be always on a diet, because uh, the body just, just gets used to it, and it can basically go wrong. Things can go wrong, and it's not good. So, diet is important, honestly, more than exercise, because if you just exercise and exercise and eat like shit, you're not really doing anything, or you're not consuming foods that are gonna help rebuild your body. Um, if you have any questions, uh, DM me, comment below if you wanna know more about how to get your calories accurately, comment below or DM me as well. Hope you guys have a good day, peace.